Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. My brother right here, come close. What's your name? Elijah. Mighty name. All right, come up over here, Elijah. All right, so I heard that you said, somebody asked you who this was, and you said it was Jesus. Is that right? All right. Get uh, Revelations, chapter 1. All right, we're going to go through this real quick. We got time to do this real quick. All right, we're going to read the Bible, and we're going to show you who Jesus Christ is. Is described to look like according to the Bible, all right? Get Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. All right, so we're reading the book of Revelations, all right? Revelation means to reveal. So we're about to reveal to you what the Bible says Jesus looks like according to the Bible. We're about to reveal this to you, Elijah. You paying attention? All right, how old are you? I can't hear you. You gotta speak louder for me, man. Look at me when I'm talking to you, right in my eyes, alright? Put your chin up. Alright? There you go. I want you stand just like that when you're dealing with me. Alright? So, Elijah, you how old? I can't hear you. Twelve. You're 12 years old. Alright, read what you got. Which yeah. God gave mm -hmm. unto him? Verse, uh, eight. So, verse eight. I am. Verse nine. Verse nine. I judge. Verse ten. Verse ten. I was in the spirit. On the Lord's day. Right. So this was John, right? And he's writing about Jesus Christ. He said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the Sabbath day. That's the same day we've just been talking about for the last 30 minutes. All right. Come on. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. All right. So John heard a voice behind him. All right. John was like, what's that voice? I just heard something behind me. Let me turn around, look, and see who that was. So he turns around. Come on. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The, the voice said, look, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. That means that I'm the, I'm the first and the last. I was here from the beginning, and I'm going to be here in the end. Come on. The first and the last. And what thou seest. What thou what? Seest. What thou what? Seest. Right, so John was looking at him with his eyes, and he said, what thou seest. What you see right now, I want you to do this with it. Come on. Write in a book. Do what? Write in a book. So we're reading that book right now that the, 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 the image of Christ was recorded in. You understand? We're reading that right now. So we're going to tell you what this book says Christ looked like. Jump to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right. So woolly hair. All right. That's what's being described. Christ's hair was white and woolly in texture, all right? So you tell me, when you look at the hair that's right here, and you look at the hair that's right here, you tell me which one is woolly. Which one is woolly looking? This one is woolly looking, all right? Okay, read on. As white as snow, Come on. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So what color is fire? I can't hear you. Just chin up. All right, your head is your, your fire is what color? It's red. All right, so fire is red, right? Which one of these got eyes that's like fire? That one got eyes like fire? Huh? Nah, that one, that one don't got eyes like fire, right? This one do. All right, we gonna keep reading. Come on. And his feet like unto fine. Press. And his feet like unto what? His feet was like unto what? Fine, put that down. Yeah. Keep Put your head up, man. Come on, man. Don't get no attitude, man. I wish I had somebody tell me to do these things when I was your age, man. I wish I had somebody dealing with me like that when I was your age, man. All right? So look. His eyes is red, right? And his feet. Read it again. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass, right? What color is brass? Do you know? It's a brown color, all right? right. When you look at your skin, look at your skin, Elijah. Is that like a brown color? All right, so when you look at his skin, is that like a brown color? All right, when you look, when you look at his skin, is that like a brown color? No, nah, it's not. It's not, right? So this one is a better depiction than that one, right? We're going to keep reading. Come on. As if... They burn in a furnace. If you take anything, you ever burn some Pop-Tarts? 
You ever burn some, uh, it, you, do you cook anything? You're 12 years old, I don't know if you make any. You put anything in the microwave? Yeah. Stuff like that? You ever burn anything? On the stove or something? Right? What, does it turn white or does it turn black? Can't hear you. I can't hear you. It turned black, right. So when you look at his skin, is his skin white or his skin black? It's black. Is his skin white or his skin black? Huh? It's white. Right. So, what are we reading again? Jump to verse 1. Verse 1. He's good. Elijah, come close. He's good. Yeah, he, he has a little... Wash your hands off for at least 20 seconds. And stay home with your sister. We all got ADHD, sister. We all had it, too. We all got it. You know, that's something they tell us. Come over here, Elijah. Come deal with us, man. Come deal with us, man. We here because we love you, man. We want to build you up, man. Right? Yeah, we, I want my I want my son to be able to, 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 to live and grow up as strong as you are one day. I want him to be out here learning about Christ. You understand? I want him to be out here teaching the Bible. I want him to be out here under some young men that look just like him, supporting some young men that look just like him. Right? Right? I want I want him to do those same things. So you're setting a good example for your people, Elijah. Right. You setting a very good example, all right? right? All right, the doctors have said we had all types of things. Don't mean nothing, all right? Only thing that matters is what God say, all right? Yeah. And that, that same doctor probably believed that Christ looked like this white man, right. all right? That same, that same doctor probably taught you that, that this white man right here is where you're going to get your healing from. That's a lie according to the Bible. That's Only right. way you're going to get your healing is from the Most High God that, that teaches God's law, statutes, and commandments, right. and a, a Christ that looks like this image we just read that looked like your, yourself. That's, that's what's right. going to build up your self-esteem, right? right? That's what's going That's what's gonna help you walk like a man, talk like a man. You understand? I'm dealing with you like that, right? So that so so that so that you know how to carry yourself in this world. All right? We had not to hurt you. We want to build you up right now. You understand? We want to teach you the things that we didn't have a father in our life to teach us for. All right? Most of us out here, we came up the same way as you. You understand? We came up the exact same way. And you like you controlling yourself well out here. You understand? Today. You look like you're controlling yourself well out here. All right? Let me Give me that scripture in uh in uh, John. I want the shortest scripture in the Bible. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm going to show you just like, you're more like Christ than you know. All right? We're going to bring it out for you. Uh, it's like John, uh, something like that. Somebody, I don't know. Somebody find it for me. Find, find, find me that scripture in the Bible. We're going to build you up, Elijah. What are you looking for? No, I want uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Shortest scripture in the Bible. John 11.35. John 11.35. Elijah, come close, man. Because you you more like Christ than you know, man. That's right. you more like Christ than you know. You can come with your mom. Mom, bring him close. Bring him close. He's strong, man. Pick him up. Everybody need a shoulder to lean on every now and then. We all need a shoulder. What you got? When you're teaching the children, you gotta, you gotta be a little easier. Nah, they need, they need authority. That's what they need. We didn't let the woman run things for too long, and they ain't got it in order yet. So we gonna get it in order. With all due respect, with all due respect, we gonna treat a young man like a young man needs to be treated. All right? We listened to women for too long, and they ain't done nothing for our communities. All right? And that's just uh, complete honesty. With all due respect. All right? The statistics show. All right? The statistics show that. All right? Eighty percent. Of our, of our of our of our children today are growing up with with a grandmama or a mama with no father. That's eighty percent. All right. So if 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 mamas was working, all right, they, they, we would, we wouldn't be having some of the issues we have right now. They need to be dealt with like men. That's the expectation that I have for my children. I'm gonna have the same expectation for all the other men that I have the privilege of dealing with. All right. What, what you got? Read that. The book of John, chapter 11, and verse 35. Jesus wept. Who are we reading about? Jesus Christ. What did he do? Come on. Jesus wept. So the greatest person that you that we read about, the one that looked just like you, the one that's, that's black, the one that got woolly hair, the one that got skin like it's burnt in a furnace, right. what did he do? Come on. Jesus wept. He did those same things, you understand? Right. Jesus had emotions, you understand? Jesus was human just like you and I. You understand? He overcame it, right? He overcame it, but he had times when he was weak, right? We all had times. Ain't no man out here that ain't never shed no tear before. Right, ain't one right. out here standing out here right now ain't never shed no tear before. Right. You understand? That ain't never happened. The greatest man that ever walked this earth, the Bible says that he wept, all right? So so don't let that 
Don't let that confuse you, all right? We're bringing out the true image of Christ, all right? Not to be confused with this fake image right here that's weak, that's soft, that's docile, all right? What made him weak, soft, and docile is the spirit that's on him. Not that he, uh, not, not that he, uh, that, that, that he just walked around without emotions to cry, so on and so forth to express himself. The, the, the true Jesus Christ, he did that, all right? This man is a weak, soft, effeminate man because he walks around, you understand, with blonde hair, blue eyes, loving everybody, hugging everybody, you understand, uh, accepting everybody, you understand, come as you are, no standards, just as you are as you are, stay as you are, don't change. That's that's what makes this man soft, you understand? Not that he, not, not, it's not that he uh, shed tears, no, it's not that, it's how he carries himself, the spirit that he's putting on our young men, the spirit that he's putting on our young men, all young women, you understand? Those are the types of things, you understand, that, that we have to change that's associated with this image, all right? Matthew chapter 26, we're going to wrap it up. Right, 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 that's right, a good point, right. His mom isn't complaining, right, right, right. 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 so he needs this, you understand? He needs this, he needs that. He need that, all right? He need that. So all praise to the most high. Today is your day, sister. Read what you got. Sir. The book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 6. Come on. Now, y'all women want us to baby our children. They've been babying our children. They, you baby the boy, then the boy grow up, and then he disrespect the woman, have a child, don't want to deal with her, and, 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 and now you like, we need to speak to the child right. a different way. Right. So we can recreate and perpetuate the same cycle? Right. We're going to create grown men that still babies because their mamas was babying them? That's what we want to do? No, we don't want to do that. You got to deal with them a certain way so when they grow up, they're not becoming that same person that dealt with you the wrong way. Right. Now, you, know. you, you got to change. You got to make a change to the cycle. What's going on right now has not helped us. It ain't our women have tried to do it and it ain't work. The Bible says it won't gonna work. Get Isaiah chapter 3 before we get that. Real quick. The Bible says that's not gonna work. A woman can't can't bring a child up the way he needs to be brought up. A, a child needs to see that the man is is has rulership over the wife and his household. A child needs to see that a woman is in subjection to a righteous man. A, ch a child needs to see that. He needs to see that growing up. So that he knows, that, so that he has the confidence to rule over his household the same way in righteousness. And that the, the young woman knows that she can submit herself and that this man is going to protect and provide for her. I, I, the little kids need to see that growing up. It's not going to happen with just a man. It's not going to happen with just a woman. Only way it's going to happen is you have both. And what, the man is in subjection to Christ and the woman is in full, complete subjection to her man. That's the only way it's going to happen. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. The Bible says the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? The, 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 you got to worry about the children because the children are growing up to do what? To rob, to steal, to kill. You understand? The children are growing up to terrorize. That's what's happening right now. Why? Because the children are growing up without a righteous family. Come on. And women. And who? Right. Women. No, the men. Women! The Bible says that the woman, come on, rule over them. The woman rule over who? All the men you see today. Because they all growing up with just a mama that's baby in them. You understand? They all growing up with just a woman. Or even if you have a man and a woman in the house, you know what happens? The man becomes weak and he's tired of dealing with the woman, right? So he just let the woman do whatever the hell she want to do, right? Because he's tired of dealing with her, right? But what happens to the child? Right, the child's gonna grow up weak now because his daddy ain't ruling over the mama. He not seeing that the way that he should see it. You understand? That's gonna infect, that's gonna affect him. That's gonna impact him. You understand? The Bible says that you're not fit for that. You can't rule over a people. You can't rule over the whole black community. It can't be Big Mama's house. All right? It's got to be Big Daddy's house with Big Mama in subjection to Big Daddy. That's the way that it's gotta go. Come on. Oh my people, they which lead thee. Cause thee to err. You understand? They which lead thee are the woman, and they're causing the whole community, the whole nation, you understand? The all the children to err, to go into folly, you understand? To to grow up, all right, without having that discipline. All right? Because a, a woman really can't discipline, you ain't gonna really be able to discipline him too much longer. He gonna get big. You understand? He gonna get big, he'll get strong, you can be able to deal with him. Then what? Now he going out here, he doing what he wanna do. Alright? 
and now he's recreating that cycle if you don't change it, if you don't fix it. And you can. There's a lot of hope and there's a lot of time for you if you can apply God's laws to your life. All right? You have to do that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.